Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my collective for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy of and or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Welcome to some new subscribers out there. I've had a lot of new subscribers recently, so welcome. Very grateful that you're here. Spirit, please share with me any loving messages that are meant to be heard today. What is it that you want me to know? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have embark. Okay, embark on a journey. The number 37. Get in the boat, <laughs> get in the boat, get ready to uh, travel this journey, travel this time and space that spirit has you in. I have waves, waves of emotion, okay, beautiful. A little bit of a, you know, the coming and going of the tides, the number 27, and that there's always flow, that things are always in motion, things are always moving. And one more, escape, escape into my arms. <laughs> I like that, the number 30. So I feel like this feeling of, you know, take me away. Um, you know, this person who grabs you and holds you and holds you tight and says, you know, we're in our own little world is, is how it's coming into me. So let's see what the cards are saying. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you want me to know? Let's see what the cards are saying. I have a moon. I have a king of cups. Chariot. And I have a hermit. So it's time to move forward. It's time to, I'm going to use the word trust. I'm going to say trust yourself, trust your intuition that there is something bigger and better out there for you. But I feel this motion is how it's coming into me. That wave, we're always in motion, that the feeling of a river, you know, would only flow in one direction, those types of feelings. So I feel like no matter what we think, even if we feel like we're going to be alone forever, it's there's someone out there for you is how that king is coming into me. And it's really just a matter of time that everything starts to move. So even when you feel like you're not moving, you are moving. <laughs> we're always in motion. So you're moving towards what spirit has for you. So that is what's coming in. Look at this beautiful sun. I love these cards. They have this iridescent um, sheen to them. They're so pretty. So here is this new beginning. And whoever this is, it's somebody who wants, just wants to love you is how I feel. Somebody who you, this little um, fish is coming into me as a Pisces. He's wearing this little fish uh, necklace. So I did feel that, but it is a feeling of, I just want to love you and I just want to hold you. What did they say? I want to escape into you, in, into your arms. <laughs> um, a seven of wands and an eight of swords. Okay, so I'm going to say don't give up. Okay, I'm going to say it that way. Sometimes we get so disappointed, so frustrated with just the process of dating and meeting people and meeting the wrong people that we just don't want to do it anymore. But I do feel like spirits giving you some extra strength today to not give up, to dig in harder to not give up on yourself and what you are worth and, and the value that you have to offer to somebody else that you are the catch and that somebody's going to want to be with you. So that is how I want you to think today. And I want you to think big. I want you to think, um, think about what it is that you really truly want. Keep asking spirit to guide you there. So I want you to think big. I want you to feel confident. That just came into me as feeling confident. I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in what spirit is bringing me today. So I'm going to say don't give up. The battle is over. The battle is over. And I always see this card as the younger you, the inner child, 
maybe a child that, you know, was teenager and then maybe you today and all that you've gone through. And sometimes we literally do those flashbacks of everything from our childhood to teenage years to, you know, raising young children. But and we kind of contemplate like all that we've gone through and we take that with us, of course. So I feel like that five of swords today is just reflecting. I'm going to say it that way, reflecting on just everything that you've been through and and everything that's ahead of you. So I want you to focus on everything that's ahead of you. So here's the waiting, a little bit of an impatience. And then the sun just keeps coming forward to me and saying, but I'm here. I'm here. This new beginning is here. And that is what they want you to bottom of the deck. They want you to think about, look at this beautiful 10 of cups, just this beautiful, happy family. And look at this beautiful, pudgy little baby in this card. So for those of you that would love that, would love to have um, a family with someone and you haven't had your family yet. So it's um, it's promises of love is how it's coming into me. You know, that spirit has, I want you to be happy. And that's all that spirit wants for you. So it is promises of love and just being happy. And, and that's really what it's all about at the end of the day is you know, we're sometimes we're not asking for a lot, you know, we just want to live our lives and love somebody and have them love us. Spirit, what else do you want us to know today? What is it that you have for us? I have an appointment, an engagement, a marriage proposal. Wouldn't it we be wonderful if we could, if this new beginning really truly turned into, you know, let's let's make plans for our future. And, and I know that that's not the most important thing to many of you, but some of you really are still very traditional and you would love to have that traditional life where you get engaged and you have a formal wedding and you have a baby shower and you have a baby and you buy your first home. And, you know, so for those of you out there that still want that, it's still it's still out there is is how I think spirits letting you know today. I have betrayed, okay, a change of heart, being manipulated. There's the eight of swords. That eight of swords is the person who the person who lied to you, right? The person who turned his back and, and ran away, his or her back. The person who had a change of heart, the person who ghosted you, walked away, and then it forces you into this um, energy of I just have to guard myself from from everybody. And, and that's not necessarily the truth. And that's not what spirit really wants for you. We, It was somebody. And, and yes, these things happened and it happens to a lot of us. But it's not this. And that's how you have to look at it. You have to look at the when the new beginning comes, it's not this person. Okay. And you have to give this new beginning a, a really honest, goodness, fair chance. I have fallen love an enchanting love. Ooh, I like the word enchanting. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that just sums it up for me. That's, you know, am I a hopeless romantic? Yeah, I'm going to say, okay, sign me up for enchanting love because that looks fun and that I want. And that goes back to this. I want to escape into your arms energy that we started with. And I have a confession of love. I'm going to say, I love you. Somebody is going to say, I love you. All right. So this is all good. <laughs> this is all good. I haven't used these cards in a long time. They're, they're actually, um, I'm not going to read all the scenes, but they're quotes from Shakespeare. And I'm not a big Shakespeare person, trust me, but I thought the images were pretty and I thought the cards were pretty, but there's little quotes down here about like here's um, determination and here's Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Here's drink, I drink to thee. 
Act four, scene three. <laughs> so I'm determined, right? So, um, so I mean, definitely um, Shakespeare was a romantic for sure. So we know that, but I'm not gonna read all those quotes. All right, let's see what they wanna say. And these cards are pretty too, because they're all black and white. So I thought these cards would work well together. I like to, I like to match my cards and just play with the color sometimes. So let's see what the cards are saying also. I have justice. Where's my appointed marriage? Look at, so is this somebody that I'm going to spend my life with? Is this somebody that brings me happiness? Is this my promise of love? So it, that's the question that we're asking spirit. I'm going to say, yes, it's, it's a forecast. It's a prediction. If it hasn't come into your life, manifest it, claim it, own it. It's yours. It's a forecast. It's out there. Seven of Cups. Knight of Cups. Look at him. Okay. He's waiting. <laughs> he looks like he's just waiting patiently for you. He looks like he's like, I'm, I'm waiting, come join me. So he's waiting patiently to come into your life. And I have this beautiful magician. She's taken off her mask. That's interesting. She's opening up herself. There's her infinity sign. So she's, it, it's coming into me as infinite wisdom. So maybe spirit wants to remind you of all of your experiences and all of those experiences, you know, prepare you for the person who you're meant to be with. So you do make a good choice and it's not just somebody that um, it's just going to be, I have a crush on you and doesn't go anywhere else. It's, it turns into something more. So I like the wisdom with that magician, how that came into me. And I have a knight of swords. I don't want to give up on this connection. So somebody who is determined, determined to get to know you, determined to spend time. I'm going to use the word consistent. Also, the person who shows up, um, they aren't dropping the ball, something like that. Um, they are coming forward with that page and the world. Look at this beautiful card. So a dancing ballerina at the center of it all. Okay. So the world opening up, but it is a feeling of, I want you in my world. How about something like that? I, I want you in bottom of the deck. I have a son. I have a son again. So that son keeps coming forward. That new beginning keeps coming forward. But I also like this energy of, I want you in my world because that's really what, that's really what happens. Um, two worlds become one and you have separate lives. And then all of a sudden over time, you have the same life. <laughs> you have the same friends. You might even have the same home. You um, eat the same foods. You go to the same places. So I want you in my world. Beautiful. Love messages, please, spirit. Love messages. What do you have for me? I'm planning on telling you how I feel. I want you to know. I know I can satisfy you. I'm going to tell you that how I feel and I know I, you want to be with me. I don't feel like this person's shy. I know I can protect you. Uh, that's a masculine energy to me. That's a provide and protect energy coming in. Our bond is strong and deep. Beautiful. I will tell you I love you. I have no doubt in my mind that that's what's happening. I will tell you I love you. Somebody is coming forward that is meant to be in your life. And I do feel like it can turn into something so much more. So we are going to put this out to the universe. I really like the promises of love. I really liked enchanting love. <laughs> that was beautiful. And I, right from the beginning, I, I felt that I want to escape into your arms energy. So we're going to put this out to the universe. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please 
remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.